It's interesting that hematology as a specialty combining laboratory and clinical hematology started almost exactly at the same time as the NHS. The people who have pioneered this, these changes were coming back from the war in the 1940s and 50s and saw this was the future for hematology. So we've grown up together. And the NHS has been very supportive of hematology, I think, throughout that time. Yes, I think hematology has evolved with the rest of the NHS. Uh, parallel developments have happened in um, other laboratory uh, specialties. Parallel developments have happened in other clinical specialties. So at the same time that we've been getting highly effective uh, drugs for treating hematological diseases, similar drugs have been developed for treating uh, cancer of other types and so on. Hematology itself has uh, promoted evidence-based medicine for the use of, throughout the whole of uh, medicine and surgery uh, and the use of randomised controlled trials and uh, the involvement of all sorts of people. It's been a great partnership, I think, over the last 70 years. Well, the British Society of Hematology has been important in, in a number of fields. It's aided in the education of hematologists, so it's helped in the training of trainees. It's helped in uh, updating consultant haematologists by the annual meetings and one very important role has been in the writing of guidelines. So nowadays every specialty has guidelines as to how to best treat a particular condition based on the best scientific evidence available. And the BSH has been active for many years in writing guidelines both for laboratory practice and for uh, clinical practice. So that's been quite crucial uh, for the NHS. British Society of Haematology has been such an important organisation for the promotion and advancement of haematology throughout the UK. And I think that the association of academic work and service work promoted by the BSH, amongst others, uh, has, was what made British haematology a real leader in the global specialty. It contributes to the ongoing education of haematologists. It contributes to the education of medical students. And we hope that it interests the best of them in haematology, and that does happen. We, everybody has to rather fight their corners these days in the NHS because, of course, resources are deeply constrained. And I think the BSH would have a very important non-political voice in establishing or maintaining the importance of this wonderful specialty in the future.